Hi, I'm Shaquille Brown. Hi, I'm Francesca Renfro. Hello, I'm Kimmy Federi. Hello, I'm Essie Nadam. And this is The Matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how was everybody's day, you know? That's grand, I'm grand. How y'all doing? I'm Too good, blessed I'm to good. be stressed. I know that's why I say it I'm a little tired, you know, I'm a little tired, but everything's good, it's good. Yeah, yeah I'm it's... doing good too. I'm hungry. <laughs> So she's always she's always hungry. hungry. Every and meeting we have, she is eating. Well, actually, no, that's Essie. She's no, here. you gotta eat. <laughs> she's always eating in the meetings. You gotta eat to live. I don't understand. Y'all yeah, want me to die? I mean, this is <laughs> understandable. That. Being that you have to walk twenty miles from a parking spot to get to class, you have to have some nourishment right. in your body. All right, let's go ahead and start talking about parking. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all feel about parking? It sucks. It, it takes forever to find parking. I'm late to class mm -hmm. sometimes because I can't find parking. It, we need better parking. Right. I mean, I don't have a car, but when I ride with people, I know that it takes forever <laughs> to find a parking space. The issue, girl, we just, you know, love the school. You know, we just have a couple of uh, issues, a couple of things, and parking is one of those things. You know, since um, we're going to spend $2.5 million getting a cool girl, I just figured <laughs> that I could just ride on the back of a cool girl when I get to class and, you know, every day, <laughs> instead of having to walk from the parking lot, you know. I mean, that makes sense to me. <laughs> Hashtag two point five million dollars. Two point five million dollars. Hashtag two point five million dollars. Basically, you can buy with two point five million dollars. I could eat chicken for so long with two point five million dollars. Okay, with two point five million dollars, we can get another parking lot. Maybe two point five million parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> we can get a scooter. We can get better Wi-Fi connection. Ooh, <laughs> Wi-Fi connection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Our Wi-Fi connection sucks, y'all. Like, sucks. Every single time I go on Twitter, hashtag the girls matter. <laughs> yes, okay. My phone pops up talking about your connection is unstable. Your connection is unstable. And if we live in mail and circle too, right? So Where yeah. they got the they, best the best Wi-Fi when my Wi-Fi goes out and I'm not exaggerating. Every, every day, five minutes every day. it goes out. <laughs> And y'all must don't understand that my phone bill ain't gonna be sky high. I keep on using my 3G because our Wi-Fi don't work. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't, you know, mm. well, with $2.5 million, y'all can buy me a new phone and pay my bill up <laughs> until I graduate. And get the Wi-Fi to work on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> I got time for that. So y'all are not for the cougar? No. I'm on the fence because thinking about it the cougar could bring in school spirit and school spirit could attract more people to come to csu i definitely agree on the other hand it's a live animal who's taking care of this live animal once uh the 2.5 million dollars is spent where is the rest of the money going to come from to take care of these cougars it, these are questions that Betty need answers. <laughs> Hashtag the girls matter. <laughs> and so I, I'm, I'm on the fence. Now, if there is a way that the students can see that it's not going to in, in any way affect what we already paid to the school, because I know they said getting the cougars here, we don't have to worry about that coming out of our budget. But what happens, I want to know what happens a year from now when this cougar gets sick and we need to take care of it, is is there gonna be a another fee? Yeah, no. you know, two point five well, million. To buy I mean, some milk. technically, it's illegal to charge these fees to our account. Like, it's illegal to take money out and you know say, oh, this is for the cougar. That's illegal. But, so, you <laughs> know, I understand. I, we know the money for the upkeep, all that good stuff. But I think that. The, the, where the money is coming from is where the upkeep is also going to be coming from. So they're going to pay the $2.5 million to get the cougar here, and then they're also going to pay for the upkeep of the animal. You know, hiring the people <coughs> from Zoo Atlanta, hiring people, you know, that know how to deal with these cougars, because I don't know how to deal with them. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to take care of them. We were just <laughs> talking about maybe they should do volunteer hours to take care of the cougar. 
Um, yeah. students, just That's throw students no. in there That's a no. to give them the 20 pounds Absolutely of food no. that they have to yeah. eat. So they're definitely going to be hiring people from Zoo Atlanta to come and take care of the animal. Um, I know that it's going to be a lot of work, but I think also a lot of people think that the cougars are going to come tomorrow. That they're just going to appear on our campus. I think it's going to take a long time, maybe even a couple of years. So that way we'll be able to build up our housing, we'll be able to build up, build up our academics, which we raise a lot of money for anyway. So I think it's just all about timing and making sure that the cougars come at the right time. And, and I, I totally agree with that. I think my biggest issue was just the delivery. Like as far as how we found out, we found out through like hearsay. And if they took a formal approach in letting us know what was going on or what was to come, I think it wouldn't be such an uproar between students and mm -hmm. them feeling so aggressively angry about getting cougars. But I do think that eventually it will benefit the school mm -hmm. and the school will profit. I just think Columbus State just needs to do better with getting information correctly out to students. Because if it wasn't for my instructor who told me, I went and asked a biology instructor and she didn't even know. It wasn't until she went and asked the department chair and they were like, yeah, we're thinking about getting cougars. So it's just a lot of miscommunications. My thing, like, you know, to wrap up the cougar thing is once you get the cougar, and everybody's in awe of it. You know, we probably be in awe of it probably like the first month or two, because that's Week how it is when we get something, we get something new, just something got cheap, like, oh, we're so excited. Uh, then and you're now over it's like, it. So we once, miss Popeyes. <laughs> <laughs> so once we're over this cougar, well, I'm not gonna ride on, anyway. Once we're over <laughs> this cougar, like, what else is there right. gonna do? Like, you gonna, it gonna look like you wasted $2.5 billion for an attraction <clears throat> that nobody really cares about anymore. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. I'm not here for it, but it seems like the girls are. It matters to them, but not to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm still stuck in the middle. Still stuck in the middle. <laughs> So what's next on the list of things that we have to talk about? Uh, let's go ahead and talk about River Park versus Main Campus. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I live on Main Campus. Very, very good. I live on Main Campus. I take school classes on Main Campus. I like Main Campus. When I go to River Park, it's a totally different situation, a totally different atmosphere. And I know these ladies over here, they take communication classes downtown, and I've never taken a class downtown. All I go downtown to do is eat and go to the River Walk. That's it. River Walk is amazing. <laughs> it is. Oh, and to see the theater plays, they're really good. Yeah, they, they are. are good. They are. So what do y'all think are the like the main differences between River Park and Main Campus? Why does everybody say River Park is more accepting? Why do people say Main Campus is boring? Why do we shut down at 2 p.m. on oh, Fridays? Fridays. <laughs> and when we go to River Park, it's still lively until it's like 2 a.m. What's the difference? Like, tell me what you Well, think. a lot of things, Main Campus uh, versus River Park, we have a lot of traditions here and on this side of town things do shut down early which if the mall closes at nine you have little stores that close around nine then that that's it for main campus but river park is at the heart of uptown downtown whatever <laughs> <laughs> and so when things on our side of town close things are just opening down there yeah. and so there's people always coming and going right. downtown and as far as acceptance i feel like students downtown just they just don't care here a lot of things matter mm -hmm. that don't matter down there like sga does not matter down there even though they're campaigning down there good luck to you guys <laughs> um, <laughs> <shade>. <laughs> They don't care. Greek life does not really matter down no, there. Unless you're in the theater or music honor society, that is it. But the stuff that happens here, like Greek week is such a big thing. They don't care. They're like, oh, oh that's going on down here? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let me not go out of my way to make it to main campus. Um, Basically. And I see as being someone who is actively involved on main campus as well as downtown mm -hmm. shout out to the carpenters building with the three <laughs> classrooms um, <laughs> i feel like main campus kind of runs with the student body atmosphere as if it was still high school and so preach that preach that we have a, we have a huge problem with that on main campus as far as downtown they deal with their things but it's not it doesn't resemble high school mm -hmm. and i just feel like 
when I came here and I was a psych major originally, ugh, and I was on main campus all the time, I felt that. And as soon as I shifted to communications, it was it was a change. Man, I'm like, okay. For me, you know, in a nutshell, I feel the same way. Like, being a comm major, we go downtown, <coughs> we're a family, you know, and like downtown is so family oriented. We'll be going to our class and you'll just see families out with their children mm -hmm. and stuff, just just doing things. Right. And it's a more open campus. Right. right here, it's not an open campus. We don't have, like nobody's gonna come and sit at the clock tower with their families. Like, I don't believe that. Yeah, but yeah. in downtown, they can go to the river walk, they can look at the fountains, go to a theater production. So maybe it's more family oriented. But then at the same time, the main campus is closed off pretty much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Downtown, it's still open. like downtown, like it's still part of the city. Like we just have a campus there. Right. So it's like, we can't tell the, the families you can't be here. But instead of the school being closed off downtown as well, they welcome them mm -hmm. and be like, you know, it's cool. We got this going on or this going on down here. Just come out and be supportive. And then it's like on main campus, it is high school. You got cliques, you got, you, can, you can't even walk past the cab. You got a whole bunch of people just sitting there looking oh, at you. I'm like, <laughs> I don't care you judging me. Like, don't look at me. Don't breathe my air. Like, <laughs> just let so me go by my business. It's I her air. Like, when she, hey, when like, she walks by, it's her air. It's her. Air. So don't breathe. It. Don't just hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Like, for real though, it's weird. It's, it's it like, is. why? What? <laughs> like, can, I say, can I help you? Can right. I take your order? And in <laughs> downtown, we I have we have a lot of festivities going on. Like. Last year we had the literary festival <coughs> going on, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. This year Riverfest is coming back, and so that's gonna be nice. And I'll actually be here for that, so I'm <laughs> excited. Um, and we really don't have festivals down here. Mm -hmm. We might have conferences, um, <laughs> lots rooms. and lots of conferences, <laughs> lots and lots of conferences, speakers and speakers and stuff. But it's it's never anything fun. Yes. She just stole it right out, right out. Sorry. So what sorry. are the main things that we can do to make sure that main campus thrives? Like as me, as a student, I don't go down downtown or I don't go to downtown a lot. So what can we do to make sure that main campus thrives just like River Park? Do we need a fountain? Should we bring the cougar next year? Well, like, <laughs> what do we need to make people want to come to our campus? I know for me, I spoke to like different students in my class and they were just saying that it's just like a totally different atmosphere than main campus in River Park. It's like two different worlds. And one person that who gave like an excellent response was Gerard, shout out to BTR model, <laughs> Gerard, but he said that just naturally people are different. and. Um, we tend to emphasize on our differences more than our similarities. So he was like, um, you know, just in comparison to main campus and River Park, the students tend to just look at, oh, they're different than, than what I am. And there's just like this wall and this wedge that separates us. So he suggested that maybe we should have more of the main campus classes over on River Park and vice versa. That way people can kind of intertwine and kind of just work together and get to know each other more. So I thought that was a good suggestion. I agree. And then I think that we should have like more carnivals and you know, fun right. things because today is CSU day. It like is. if anybody didn't know. And like, I didn't know. PM I didn't at know. the baseball fields. <laughs> I didn't know. And there'll be free food. The calf will be closed. And it'll be the <laughs> baseball game. You know, and, and it's when we the have CSU day, it's really fun. It's like we're main campus students. We all come and we get together. But it's like, why do we have to get together on that one day? Right. I feel like we should have more activities other than yes. CSU day. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, just because it's like, oh, okay, well, this is going on today just come out because when things are going on it's be like that particular organization mm -hmm. is having something at the clock tower or having something in the Davidson mm -hmm. and that'll be it we need more right than just that organization so why don't like other organizations try to partner up like why can't there be like more partnerships between different organizations I know for me that's something that I can do with my organization that's something that Kimmy can do something that all we all of us can do with our organization is just try to branch out and partner more with other organizations that too but I think we need actual school involvement organizations can do stuff mm -hmm. but CSU right. day is with CSU right and we need more of that also 
this school becomes a ghost town Friday at 2 p.m. Yeah. So nobody wants to stay here because they know nothing is happening. And exactly. if an organization happens to have something that Friday night, um, then there's no no there's no attendance because the people everybody's going home everybody's exactly. going to Auburn everybody's going to Fort Valley they're not staying Georgia at the school right <laughs> and I mean and let's party. not get it exactly. wrong like organizations are doing things people are doing stuff right. it's just our school spirit like nobody wants to be involved they go from class to home or from class to the mall to work there's nobody staying on campus and wanting to see what's out there organizations are doing plenty of things like you can do something almost every day on this campus because somebody's having something but it's the fact of like making sure that you're on campus to see those things if you're never here then it's like oh what do we do but then it then again it's why aren't people wanting exactly. to stay on campus that's that is say. a that's a huge thing because kids don't want to stay on campus they want to go home yeah. they want to go to the mall <laughs> they want to go to Georgia Southern or Fort <laughs> Valley like, right. Turn they, they want to do these things because they feel nothing is going on here and I think it's because Organizations are secondary. If our right. school started doing things, then people would stay on campus, then they would see these things, and then they would get involved. But right now, it should, our school doesn't, we have CSU day once a semester, once a year. I didn't even know it was CSU day. It, me either, I saw a sign that said CSU day, and that was, that was all I got. And this is from somebody who is active. on campus, active on campus. Right. So, yeah, what more can we do to make if sure that? To sum it up. If there's food, I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Maybe we should try to have things open on the weekend. Um, we should try to have things on the weekend right. here. Mm-hmm. We should try to have our own festivities done, here. Yeah. But nobody showed up. So, like for even on homecoming week last year, we were talking about um, doing something for like on Friday, and they had like a party, and it was like a total ghost town. That was during homecoming week where like everybody's involved. So I mean, there's things to do on the weekend, but when we try to do it, it's just like nobody shows up. No matter how much we advertise it, even if it is during the most popular week of the year, aka homecoming week. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get a football team and then homecoming week will become important. Well, that's, I heard that's why they're getting the yeah. Cougars. <laughs> for the football team. For the football Which we need more students, circle. which we mean, need more housing. Right. So it's all like, we need more, more, more. It's this a circle. Takes time. Yeah. It's a circle. One day, CSU could be like UGA, <clears throat> which they're trying to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, friend, underneath your breath? It's just a dark cloud just opened <laughs> Shade. Yeah. <laughs> is it brewing to your place? Like it it's, is. It's, so no, I, it's sunshine. Over I'm here. sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I'm not apologize. <laughs> you are. Uh, we could go on and on and on about the differences of main campus and River Park and the things that are going on. But I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. What's next? Okay, we're going to talk about majors and our professors and just being majors. a CSU student. What's everybody's majors? I, me and friend, are <laughs> communication mass media majors, the best major there is. Oh, Shout out to all the <laughs> majors. Cal majors, up. all hey. 300 of y'all. <laughs> 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 Shout out to all the car majors. We on y'all. In our we three on. classrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a health science and a sociology major. I'm an English professional writing major, also studying biology pre-med. Mm-hmm. She got like 10 majors. Y'all That's, a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. I know y'all been talking so much of communications, <laughs> mass media, PR, all human resources, one. all underneath the same And I'm category. glad that you said that because I have the bone to pick with people when they think communications is an easy major, especially mm. no offense to English majors. <laughs> Professional but, writing? That, oh. But it's a part of the English department. The English, oh. some English majors think that we don't, we don't do nothing. <laughs> Communications is the easy English major or whatever. But let me tell you, tell here, them. okay? We take English classes, language classes, graphic design classes, That's PR, marketing. It's Video everything. Production. Video production. All that <laughs> in on. one. Okay. So next time <laughs> you want to say, and I'm looking, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Next time you want to say that we have a piece of cake, just look at our class schedule, okay? Because you're doing five majors in one, and we're excelling at it. Correct. Wow. It's hard to do all that and look fabulous, but I do it with ease. <laughs> I does, don't. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, maybe it's because they see y'all having more fun. Maybe right. y'all have more fun with y'all majors, and there's like their fun hasn't come yet. You and know? it's more free will, isn't it? More like free will for you we, guys, majors. We definitely have a lot of creativity, creative right. freedom, mm -hmm. because a lot of our classes. One good thing about the comm department is our classes are service learned. So when we do projects, we're actually working with businesses in Columbus building up our resume mm -hmm. and things like that. So we have to do campaigns for all these different companies. Like I've worked with Hope Harbor, um, the emergency management company, uh, all that. And we had to come up with campaigns for them. And mm -hmm. that is just awesome. Have complete creative control. And you get a grade for it too. <laughs> yeah, then it's like you get to, whatever you come up with, you get to keep it outside of the class like I mean I have a blog that's really thriving right now lipstick and kicks y'all need to check that out but it's like um <laughs> at the girls matter yes <laughs> at the right. girls matter. but it's still though it's like whatever you come up with you have a chance to keep that and then grow with it it's right. like they they give you the format and let you run and that's mm -hmm. what I like I don't want a creative <clears throat> strain on me because I feel like I can't be my best when I, mm -hmm. when I have to follow somebody's guidelines and rules. And that's why I say what I want to say now, you guys. Because nobody tells me I can't. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. That's true. But that's look, so mad. It's so much shade. It's shade in this so area. But I don't know why your hand is over here. But <laughs> <laughs> you might want to extend it over here. Tell but I hope to join y'all one day in the communications Come department. Come on to the good side. <laughs> Come on. Come on over over there. Come on. Uh, much fasting and praying. <laughs> <going on. laughs> but I'm a health science major. Um, I want to work with kids when I get older and, you know, join the Peace Corps and work with the World Health Organization. Woo woo. Yeah. And then I also added a sociology major just because I took a sociology class and I really loved it. And I like studying about people and like environment in the workplace and stuff like that. So that's why I chose those two majors. Well, I oh. chose English professional writing and biology pre-med because I wanted to go into the medical field and everyone knows it's very competitive, so I needed a competitive edge. So I decided to make English professional writing my major because you're going to need to learn how to write no matter what field you go into, and That's especially professionally. So yes. I thought that would be... Um, a great little addition to my to my transcript. So, Let's shout out to Dr. Skaggs, Dr. <laughs> McCullis, Dr. Dr. McCullis, Ross, Dr. Justin, Dr. Uh, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> we not even. <laughs> no. Nope. All yeah. right. So, so, like, how do y'all feel being a CSU student? Are y'all proud to be a CSU student? I like, have been, which don't tell anyone, but I'm the whole on, on okay. TV. Yes, right. All right. So, um, I've been in Columbus since I was in the second grade, so I'm kind of used to Columbus, and I just feel like, I don't feel different coming to CSU, it just feels like, alright mama, see you later, cool <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. It's nothing like, I don't, I don't really boast about it too much, and yeah. maybe I should, because CSU is definitely evolving, mm -hmm. they're definitely growing, they're definitely doing a lot of big things, so mm -hmm. now I'm feeling more confident and, you know, showing more school spirit, mm -hmm. but before mm -hmm. it was just like, I go to CSU, mm -hmm. right up the street. Mm -hmm. Like, well, for me, it was always, I knew that I was going to be involved no matter what school I went to. Um, like, CSU is a great school, and I love it. When I first came here, I was like, there is nothing to do. There is nothing to do and if I wanted to do something on a Friday night downtown it had to be 21 and that didn't happen until last year so <laughs> and then all the bars are gone now so it's like there's nothing to do literally but I think it keeps me grounded mm -hmm. and I do I'm, I'm involved in a lot on campus so I really like that but as far as like schoolwork, it keeps me grounded I love CSU like it just I think it just takes us being more prideful in our school right. and who we are. We are an evolving school, like you said. We don't have what UGA has. We don't have what Auburn has yet, but we need to work our way up there to be like them or to be better than them or just to make it our own. And that's what I believe. And I love CSU. She's a believer. I am I'm a, a believer. believer. <laughs> um, I'm very hopeful. <laughs> I went, I went to another school before I came to CSU, um, which was if extremely overpriced um, but <laughs> one thing I like about CSU is it is not extremely overpriced um, and also I just 
At first, I was kind of timid because it was a new school and it seemed so huge to me because my overpriced old school was really <laughs> small. And uh, But as I've grown here three years in the game, I feel like this was a perfect decision for me. I've learned a lot of things about myself and about my friends mm -hmm. um, as far as you know, making life choices here at CSU. I have some amazing professors ah, who, yes. like in the comm, they make sure you aren't going to fail if you do your job. Um, right. And if you are slipping, they, um, hey, what's what's going on with you? And that's, that's something I need, I like that. Um, and you know, even though we have a lot of things happen here on campus, I feel like CSU is a great place to come, a great place to be, even though we throw shade we at do. it, which we, we do. have been doing this entire time. <laughs> we love you, CSU, we do, that we is, really do. There's not another school that I want to be at, because honestly, UGA is great, but it's huge. It's huge. Like, students <laughs> don't, your professors don't know your name, your number, and right. I don't, I don't appreciate that. I'd rather you call me Francesca instead of 165, okay? <laughs> right. So, uh, I appreciate the class sizes we have here in the hands-on, and I'm gonna throw it to Shaquille. Before Shaquille speaks, I definitely wanna second that. You do have professors that literally wanna look out for your well-being, that literally care for you, especially in the English department, just having professors that just wanna help you learn and have your back, so. I second that professors have vouched for you. So I, I third could, that. She thirds it. it. Do we have a fourth? Is it my turn yet? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we have a fourth? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I mean, like with everybody else, like I fourth that too because before, you know, for some more year, I really wasn't feeling it, but that was because I wasn't doing anything. Exactly. And that was because I hadn't gotten into my major yet. But now that I'm in my major, I'm involved in so many things. It's so many opportunities. Like this one right here for us to shoot this show. Like right. that's an for opportunity. For free. Yeah, on like campus. that was given to us. And it, it makes me feel good that when I walk into a room that a professor or somebody knows my name personally mm -hmm. and they say it correctly. It's Shaquille, okay? <laughs> not, Let's go ahead and have a sign at the Shaquille. bottom of the, the, bottom Shaquille, of the screen on how to pronounce her name phonetically, all right? Let's go to it's like Shaquille. That. And like, you know, I come in, people say my name correctly. I'll be like, Jesus, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, I feel the strain. I yes, feel it. you. I think we all do. I, I thank you for, for real, though, for having professors that really care about our well being right. and care about us getting it together that will stay overnight, will re respond to your emails, right. respond to your text messages, even though they'd be like, oh, you working. I think they'd be like, you working my nerve. I but I'm going to respond <laughs> anyway because I believe in your craft. And that's the main thing I love to death about this school. So, CSU, shout out to you, girl. At least the professors. Yeah. And not the food so much. It's stuff on the food. Um, Fried Chicken house, Thursday. It's pretty sucky. <laughs> yeah. You know what? At least hey, you don't have to live on it. It's if you're not, not that they're no. sucky, it's yeah. that they choose to serve us this food because when we have preview days or oh the first week of school <laughs> oh my or goodness. tailgate where they want to bring all the wings out, right. the food is banging. Right. And I'm so <laughs> mad that I missed the it. The best food <laughs> I've ever had on CSU campus is before I got to CSU campus. It was during the summer doing orientation. <laughs> that was the best food I've ever had on CSU I campus. I love when I see groups of kids walking yes. around the so campus. Well, the cast must be good today. <laughs> Let's go to the cast. Let me, let me swipe mail cards. Right. Only on Thursdays. Yeah. So we finna get real. <laughs> oh, realer than we really got in. And oh, we're going to talk about the CSU shooting that happened about two weeks ago. All right. How do y'all feel about that? I feel like it was sad yeah. that the young, person had, yeah, the young man had to die. <clears throat> um, but we're going to talk about the technicalities of it, of how we didn't hear much about it until two weeks or two hours. Was it two hours two after hours. it happened? Yeah. Or three hours after it happened? And just like the safety of it. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> The, the ironic thing is we were just praising CSU. Now we're about to get back on right. the Right. <laughs> but I mean, which needs to happen. Right. Critiques always, it's always good. To keep it short for me, I'm just going to talk about the fact that after it happened, 
we just continued on with the regular school day. Like there was no press conference. There was no, I mean, not saying we needed a big press conference, but I felt like the school as a whole should have just reached out to all its students. Like even had us come together in different, at different times, you know, maybe in the auditorium or something to be like, you guys look, I know that this probably had a big effect on you, right. but we're handling it. And like, even if they just would have got us together to say that, that will been fine with me because that lets me know you're caring about right. how this mm -hmm. affect me. Like, let, let's, you know, carry on with the regular school day. No, because we were talking about it the next day. Right. In our classes, nobody really was focused on school. Right. We were focused on what happened. And that was that there is just a problem for me. Right. And I think they kind of owe that to us because it is our safety. This is our school. We need to know kind of what's going on. Uh, I definitely agree that it was sad for us to just kind of carry on about the day like nothing happened when someone just like literally lost their life. Yeah. So I think for us as students, what can we do better to make sure that we get those answers that we need? So I think we need to reach out to the correct people and get, you know, ask, facts. exactly get the correct facts and not just hearsay. We need to go and reach out and let these people know that these concerns are still bothering us, these issues, we still have problem with it. Mm -hmm. it's because it is kind of, I don't know if it's being swept under the rug or everyone's just kind of hush hush about it. So I think we do kind of need to reach out as a student body together and just kind of let them know it's not over for us because mm -hmm. I think they believe it's over. Do y'all think that it would have been different if the person that got killed was a CSU student? I think it would have been way different. Oh, I yes, think that we would yes. have probably had a press conference. We would have probably got together and probably would have done something the next school day since it happened on a Sunday. But, but it doesn't. It is, I know it doesn't matter, but I think it would have been a little different. I know that. I know just to say that, oh, he wasn't a senior <coughs> student is not enough, but I definitely think that different steps would have been taken if it was a CSU student. Um, and I don't really know how it goes because, you know, the Georgia. The GBI or the whatever, GBI. FBI, GBI, I don't know. That's One true. of them. But at the same time, it's a human life that was lost. And I true. feel like it shouldn't be put whether you have a CSU ID, ID. <laughs> number or whatever. Someone's life was lost. It was on CSU grounds and Correct. we need answers. That's the right. thing that I'm on is it happened here at our school. Exactly. And whether other people were outside or not, another student right. could have been hit, you exactly. know what I'm saying, and affected. So regardless of whether they were a student or not, we owe this. You know, you never know that how it could have shook up this campus. Exactly. It would be like, whoa, like, you know, you're supposed to protect, like, protect us, right. and now we're running from you. Or, you know, just something right. to ease it, to put mm -hmm. a, at least put a Band-Aid on it. Right. right. It'd be like, okay, even if it was, uh, you know, maybe crap, we'll feed them this to get them okay right. until we really deal with it. To and we didn't get that. It's like an open wound that's still yep. bleeding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I know um, Francesca works with the CSU Saber, which is our on-campus newspaper. So she has the facts. Hey, pick that up, y'all. Whoa, right? That just put <laughs> a pressure. heavy burden right. on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I know um, with a a lot of things that people had a problem with, including the NAACP, was that the stories that CSU was putting out oh, were, were wrong, were inconsistent with the coroner's report and the autopsy of Zacharias Jaquan Flint. Um, he was 20 years old. Um, and the first statement that CSU put out, or first tweet, tweet. so that uh, the tweet. students could see, was that there was a man, uh, armed man on campus. He was, first they told us that he was just wounded, which was wrong because he was dead. And when they put this out, it was three hours later, so they knew he was dead, but they told the students that he was just wounded, which was wrong. Incorrect. They should have just told us that he had died. Um, they also said that he turned around menacingly, and so once he turned around, that posed a threat, and they shot him. Um, but the report stated that he was shot in the back. Isn't the, the autopsy too? Yes. yes. The back, lower back, and the back of his neck. Not even going to talk about the exit wounds because that just... Ugh. Wow. Um, and the we actually had the CSU Sabre, shout out to the CSU Sabre, work diligently. I know everybody's schedule 
the art classes were put on hold to talk to people, um, to go out and interview people and things like that. Um, our staff worked really hard and what two things that needed to be addressed or why someone said he turned around menacingly and then he was shot in the back um, and also why CSU kept putting out inconsistent stories. One thing CSU seems to have a problem with is PR. And maybe they should just hire some of the great comm majors. <laughs> or to, me. What's up? I'm good at that too. To, to help us, <laughs> to help them out. Because I feel like, first of all, he was armed. Let's get that out of the way. There was a gun on the scene. So they were telling the truth. Um, but we had three eyewitnesses that said when he was running he did not have his gun and that is an issue that is still kind of hazy uh, whether he threw the gun down and then the chase ensued across university avenue back onto courtyard one campus where he met his demise um and you know of course stacy jackson is representing the family and this isn't over the thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way is we had greek week the next week and that monday it seemed like nothing happened when stuff was still taped off in courtyard one you have students who heard these gunshots someone could have been outside when this happened and seen this like i don't want to see somebody die in you know, you know that therapy session was um, was set up or anything like the, I didn't hear anything mm -hmm. from a counseling center mm -mm. like you were affected. You know, you can well, come actually, in and talk about it. I they probably the did, email. but I didn't hear on that email. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, people. I mean, I can never take for an excuse as a college students shouldn't read their email. That's never an excuse for me. You should always read your email, especially if it's coming from Columbus State. But for me, I know that. Like anything, something like that happens, especially being as an RA, the counseling center is open and they usually have it on the email saying, oh, you know, if you're having any issues with it, report to the counseling center. And anytime something happens like that, the counseling, like, I don't know if it's the counseling administrator, I don't remember his name, but he always comes out and talks to us, especially the RAs. So, well, the RAs are the RAs now. Mm -hmm. I'm not RA anymore. <laughs> so, like, he always comes out and talks to them. So. There's definitely counseling setting sessions set up if you are feeling traumatic about this situation, always. Whether it's somebody dies or whether somebody attempted to kill themselves, like a suicide or just anything like that. So And see, that's great. Mm. It's just <laughs> no, that's great and all. But no, <laughs> no, that's great. It's just the next day I stepped on campus and yeah. here here my office is going into overtime to figure out what happened and I see people like building houses or building chalkboard houses, whatever they was doing for Greek Week. No offense to Greek Week, but um, <laughs> it just felt like there somebody wasn't killed. Yeah. It, and I think that says more about us as, you know, in our generation more than it does about the people that are in charge because even if they do try to sweep things under the rug, we, we outnumber them. We can ask more questions. And I think that's what it boils down to is just us being more assertive and getting the answers that we need. Because at the end of the day, someone's life was lost, whether he was a CSU student, whether he was from Brazil, whether he was from Africa. <laughs> His life was Shout lost. Shout out to Africa. Nigeria on that, that green, white, green. Hello, green, white, hello, green. Hello, hello, hello. Shout out to map. Georgia. <laughs> and New York. Uh, <laughs> United States over here. <laughs> we love everybody. <laughs> See the diverse yes. team on the panel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Follow us at the girls matter at the girls matter hit us up <laughs> right. but we definitely want to you know just end off this right. discussion um, with yeah. condolences to his family right. yes condolences and um r.i.p to zicarious jacar flint um and your family and your friends are definitely in our prayers yeah. What we about to get into? Well, on it's, a lighter note, Shaquille. Yes, on a lighter note, <laughs> we're about to get into uh, a segment that's going to be like our, our funny segment. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be like the vine of the week or the Instagram of the week. And we mm -hmm. have a cute little vine that we want to show y'all. That we all thought was Ooh, yes. And it's, it's to oh, die God. for. <laughs> like, oh, he got money. <laughs> So y'all check that out. <laughs> this is the girls matter. The matter. The matter. <laughs> the matter. <laughs> Can I get some Skittles, uh, some dips, Reese's pieces. Ah. Uh -huh. 
pretzels and a large popcorn. A large? You got your money. He got money. Get it all for him. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Really oh, he got money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my goodness. Have y'all seen her other vines? She be showing when, out. Uh, when, which one was it where uh, he went to take her shopping? Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She cracks me up. She is she really funny. showing out. <laughs> well, if you have anything else that you want to see on the show, make sure you email us at gmail. I mean, at thegirlsmatter at gmail.com. We'd love and to make, hear from you. Right. So <laughs> if you want to, you know, follow us on Twitter, we have a Twitter name at the girls matter. And make sure to like us on Facebook. We have the thing at the bottom of the screen. We legit. We on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> At the Girls Matter. <laughs> and that's all we have for today's show. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, I'm Etsy Nadem. I'm Kemi Federin. I'm Francesca Renfro. I'm Shakoya Brown. And this was The, the Matter! Matter!